One of the most successful countries in the world combating the COVID is on the verge of lockdown again. Yes, Singapore is returning to lockdown-like situation it imposed a year ago. Hey there, welcome to my channel, The Warning Man Abroad, Asim Parth this side with a new travel update this time. But before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the timely notifications. And you can also find Singapore travel vlogs on my YouTube channel, The Warning Man Abroad. Chaliye, update share karte Now, Singapore lockdown will start from May 16th until June 13th for four weeks. Though Singapore has not witnessed steep rise in COVID cases, but Singapore government wants to take proactive measures to control the COVID situation in the country. Now, here are some rules that social gatherings and the home visitors capacity has been reduced to two people, maximum two people, then five people. Now, there is a complete ban on dining in in restaurants and food places have been advised to do takeaways and home deliveries. There's a complete work from home mode in the country and people will be encouraged to do work from home during this time. And also this uh, lockdown is going to impact, likely to impact travel bubble arrangement between Hong Kong and Singapore. If cases keep coming, then this uh, travel bubble will be extended for two weeks. If the seven day moving average of total number of cases, daily cases is uh, exceeding five in either city. Now fewer people allowed in shopping malls and showrooms, wedding receptions cannot happen at this point of time. Only 100 people will be allowed, maximum 100 people will be allowed for business meetings and uh, operating capacity at tourist sites, attractions has been reduced to 25% from the current figure of 50%. So now let's talk about Singapore's economy. Now, Singapore dollar has shown a decline right after the announcement of the lockdown. Now, the total number of cases in the community is 71 as per previous week's data, then 48 before that. Um, now, this has resulted, this has impacted the Asian stock indexes uh, by falling to 2.6%. Now, Singapore was also about to host Shangri-La Dialogue next month and World Economic Forum this time in the month of August which is also kind of uh, in questions right now but hopefully things will clear out. So now we are talking about how government is compensating the government during this time of lockdown. Now as you know that there is a complete ban on dining in so all the food and beverages firms are entitled to receive job support subsidies. And uh, a one month rental has been waived off for all the street hawkers, street vendors and coffee shops. Now, they are also likely to start rapid testing of COVID cases with effect from May 15th, which is today. And apart from that, if we talk about the airport, then Jewel Changi Airport is one of the biggest and single cluster of COVID cases and 46 cases are just linked to, to the airdrome, to the airport staff. And it is raising concerns and fear that uh, the virus has been spread by travelers. Now, Jewel Changi Terminal 2, I believe, and uh, Jewel Changi uh, Shopping Mall is not closed for the public, but it will remain open for the air travel. So that's all, guys, in this video. If the video is good, update is good, don't forget to like this video and also engage if you have any questions pertaining to this uh, uh, this lockdown, Singapore lockdown. And by the way, as I said earlier, I run a YouTube channel where I post our vlogs, guide, tips and I share travel news and updates during these days especially because I am not able to venture out anywhere. So this is this video, may also do uh, consider watching my Singapore vlogs on my YouTube channel. That's all guys in this video, see you in the next video, till then goodbye and take care.